Well, hello there, and good evening, uh, YouTube. I'm uh, William Brantley, uh, reporting from uh, South Jackson, Tennessee, uh, ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days uh, momentarily. Well, we had a negative bonus day today. <laughs> it was cloudy and cooler than originally thought. It was supposed to hit almost 50 degrees, even with sunshine, excuse me, with clouds, but it didn't make it. It only made it up to 43 degrees for a high today, so it was 7 degrees cooler than it was expected to be. Uh, but that happens sometimes. Uh, I already gave you the climate data real quick. 43 degrees was today's high. It was supposed to hit 50. Maybe we'll hit tomorrow's high. Hopefully, it won't be 7 degrees cooler than the expected temperature, which right now is expected to get up to 40 degrees tomorrow. Hopefully, it be, won't be 33 degrees, for example. Hopefully, it will hit 40 degrees tomorrow. Let's hope so, because there is a chance for uh, rain tomorrow and some snow to the north of Jackson. That's right, uh, a winter precipitation mix is possible north of Jackson tomorrow. I'll show you a map that's going to show you how close it'd be coming to Jackson, but if the temperatures hold up to the expected forecast, it should be just a cold rain here in uh, Jackson. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and get on to the climate summary. Uh, as of 5 p.m., the skies was cloudy here in Bemis at that time. And still is. The temperature was 43 degrees, which is today's high so far. It's down to 42 degrees at the moment as of 8.30 uh, p.m. Or 8.10 p.m., I'm sorry. Uh, Central Standard Time. Again, 42 degrees at the moment. And, uh, like I said, the low this morning, well, I didn't say that, but the low this morning was 38 degrees. Today's high only made it up to 43 degrees, but at least it stayed above freezing. I've had no rain so far since midnight, not yet. There is some on the radar, but mainly north of Jackson, and it's moving east. All right, I'll show you that in a moment as well. Um, today's lowest humidity would be 74%, and that occurred between 3, 4, and 5 p.m., or during those hours, I should say. The highest would be 89%, and that was at 6 and 7 a.m. this morning. Lowest dew point temperature would be 34 degrees, and that occurred at 12 through 5 a.m. The highest would be 36 degrees. Very little difference in the dew point temperatures either. Uh, 36 degrees, and that occurred at 9 a.m. Lowest barometric pressure was 30.15 inches, and that occurred at 5 p.m., while the highest would be 30.23 inches, and that occurred at 11 a.m. Today's highest wind gust was 16 miles per hour out of the north uh, since midnight, or 12.01 a.m. Records for today, March the 2nd. Hottest high, 84 degrees. Whew, wouldn't that be nice? That did occur in 2012. We may have to wait till late April or early May before we get any steady 80s, though. For highs, a little way off forecast. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, projection there. Excuse me. 84 degrees in 2012 is when it actually happened. Uh, coldest tide would be 29 degrees. That occurred in 1980. The warmest low would be 64 degrees. That occurred in 1976. While the coldest low would be 10 in uh, 1980. 1980. Rainfall record for today. We had quite a bit of rainfall, actually. March the uh, 2nd of 2014. We had 3.16 inches of rainfall uh, back then. Uh, snow, a snowfall record, one inch. And that fell in 1972. All right, that's pretty much the climate data for the evening. Hold on, please. Let me get a little water to... Uh, dampen my throat a little bit so my voice will be more clear. I hope. <laughs> All right, uh, let me show you the radar and a few other graphs, and I have one more new thing to show you tonight. 
And I hope you enjoy it, and I hope it turns out to be pretty accurate, and you can see it pretty good. First of all, let me show you the LADAR. And let's, let's see that uh, there's really not much going on nearby at the moment. Most of the rain, if there's any, is mostly northeast of Jackson. And it's actually trying to disappear a little bit. Uh, north, Way north of Jackson, the parts of... Uh, 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 Illinois is approaching Evansville, Indiana. There's a little bit of snow up there in parts of uh, uh, Missouri. Let me see how far north. Uh, most of that has moved uh, east of St. Louis on over into central Illinois now and further north from there, of course. But right now, uh, closer to home, West Tennessee or Middle and East Tennessee, let me go uh, dig in there a little closer. Let you see, it may have been a few sprinkles moved through uh, Humboldt and uh, Trenton and those areas, Milan, within the last hour, hour and a half. But it had to be probably very light, if it even made it to the ground. That may be Virgo uh, going on up there, so it's not all that heavy. And really, the measurable rain is not expected until around 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. But it all should be ending toward... Uh, Two or three o'clock uh, tomorrow afternoon, uh, which we'll see how well that works as we go along. A little bit more details on the forecast there. All right, uh, let me see if if the snow is uh, uh, it's getting away from St. Louis. It's mainly, like I said, in southern Illinois. Any north of there is mainly way up there toward Iowa. Is where the most of the snow is to the north of us. Not anywhere close tonight, at least. Now, tomorrow may be a different story entirely. And I'll show you that feature map in just a moment. More look at the state of Tennessee. It's pretty much uh, rain-free at the moment. A little bit of rain down in southern Arkansas, moving into Mississippi. Some of that's going to be eventually working its way toward uh, Jackson later on tonight. But at the moment, uh, Tennessee is rain-free. It's trying to snow some up in Cincinnati, Ohio, in case somebody might be watching from up there. It looks like uh, it's not going to last too long up there either. All right, uh, I thought I'd show you that real quick. All right, let's move on to the satellite picture. Show you there's plenty of clouds around. They're going to be around at least until around, uh, I believe it's around 3 a.m., Monday morning is when it's finally going to clear. Hopefully. <laughs> if the forecast holds true. So far it hadn't held true too good. At least not around here. Alright, let's look at uh, Little Rock's uh, map real quick. And it's showing uh, some breaks uh, in the clouds well off the western side of Arkansas and Oklahoma. But they're going to fill in quickly. It's going to wind up continuing to be mostly cloudy, at least through until very early Monday morning, like I mentioned. All right, then let me show you tonight's uh, current surface map. And uh, this one, I'm going to have to do it like this. Uh, let me see. Let me get this out of the way so I can, I can show it to you a little bit better. As uh, the Weather Channel's current surface map, it's as of uh, <clears throat> 2015 Eastern Time. That would be 18, 19, 20. I think that'd be 2:15 p.m. Central Time, uh, if I'm I, if I'm correct on my Zulu time. It's uh, 2015 Eastern Time Zulu Time, or UTC. You, uh, if you know what that means. And I think that's either 2 or 3.15 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. This is the way the map features looked at that time, according to the Weather Channel. And as you can see, there's a low pressure way up off of the New England states and up in south southeastern Canada, causing some snow up in that area. And a little bit of rain down here in Florida and off the Atlantic coast. Uh, a little bit of rain in uh, eastern West Tennessee, like we just saw a moment ago, and up in Kentucky some, and on up there near Ohio, like we just saw. 
and a little bit of rain down in southern Arkansas, eastern uh, Texas, as you can see, and some more snow out in uh, Colorado around all those low pressure systems there. And there you see where the rest of the features are across the country and kind of where the precipitation is in those parts of the country. All right, uh, let me get a, a wide view here for you can see it. All right, that's again the, during the afternoon, uh, Saturday afternoon's weather map for Jackson and the whole country. Uh, middle afternoon, uh, uh, 1920. Uh, not 1920, uh, 2015, uh, uh, Eastern Standard Time. That's our, uh, again, I think that's 215 Central Standard Time, I think. I hope I'm thinking right on that. All right, uh, let me tell you what. Let me look at that uh, snow up in New England, and it's showing. Let's see how widespread it is on this radar. Ooh, it is pretty good up in there. It sure is. Even though it's not going to affect us anytime real soon, uh, I'm going to show it to you anyways. It has absolutely nothing to do with our weather, uh, but I figured you'd like to see it anyways. Well, there it is, if, you, if you'd like to look at it real quick. There's, again, no effect on West Tennessee, just uh, some scattered snow up in the New England states and parts of that country, of the United States, that is. All right, let me put it back down here to where we are. If I don't mess up my recording doing all this. Back on Tennessee, not, nothing going on like I mentioned. All right, I done showed you the current surface map. Let me show you something different. I'm going to try this tonight. And see, let's see there, I, I got it where you see better. Uh, let me see if I can put, there, they got the whole country in here. This is a National Weather Services. Uh, seven day outlook, uh, just the precipitation, no fronts, no temperatures, none of that. Just the precipitation and how they're expecting it to move over the next seven days. And the timing, uh, I, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can, um, let's see if I can get that to a, you, there, there's the timing. Uh, let me see if I can get, I need to tilt that some, don't I? I'll bring it down just a little bit. I'll just tell you what the time is on it. And it'd probably be the best thing to do. It'd be kind of hard to show it so small print anyways. Uh, this right here is as of uh, 6 p.m. tonight. And what the whole country looks like with precipitation. Alright, let me move it over down a little piece. Uh... There's a little bit of a light green in West Tennessee as of 9 p.m. tonight. That's just uh, kind of covers that little bit of showers that was to the east of us. But the green gets a little darker there in Arkansas, as you can see. Let me move it on down a little bit more. That's by midnight tonight, Jackson, Tennessee time. Sunday morning, midnight tonight. The rain will be getting closer to us. It is expected to begin here in Jackson around 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. Look at that big area of snow over in the Plain States that's moving toward, uh, is it in Kentucky, moving toward Missouri. All right, let me continue moving on. I'm getting out of range here. Uh, there we go. Uh oh, went too far that time. This is, let me see. This is for 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. The rain is expected to get a little bit more widespread in West Tennessee, a big area of snow to our north in Missouri, as you can see. Next time frame is 6 a.m. The rain gets pretty heavy uh, here in West Tennessee, a little bit more widespread by then. Uh, okay, the next hour will be 9 a.m. There's going to be thunderstorms to our south toward the Gulf. Pretty good, pretty good chance of rain almost statewide by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning here in Tennessee. A little bit of a snow mix up there in Missouri and Kentucky, and just north of there, uh, snow. And a good part of Missouri and Illinois. This is by 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. And it's trying to show a little bit of a mix here in West Tennessee uh, around noon tomorrow. 
but I honestly think the temperature is going to be just a little too warm for it to mix much here. If it does mix, it will be mainly northern sections of West Tennessee and on up toward Kentucky. But it, it won't last very long either, especially if we indeed get highs around 40 degrees. That's why I call it a, a uh, cold rain. And that's again for about noon tomorrow. All right, let me see what the next time frame is. Uh, uh, 4 p.m., I think it was. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I got it off, of course. Uh, 4 p.m., uh, well, that's too far there. 1 p.m., noon, back to that one, okay? And whatever mix is going to be almost gone by uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow. It looks like a little bit, it's kind of hard to tell what that color is. still looks like a light mix, maybe. But I still think it's going to be plain old rain here. By 6 p.m. tomorrow night, most of it's going to be gone, period. Of course, the rain's supposed to be ending here anyways, right around 3 or 4 o'clock here in Jackson. Whatever precipitation it turns out to be, it should be rain. I still say it's going to be rain here. All right, uh, <clears throat> let's go a little bit further. Uh, be mostly a chance for light snow over there in Middle Tennessee near Nashville, maybe. Over there around 9 p.m. tomorrow night. Not here in West Tennessee, though. And we'll see what, and by midnight tomorrow night. It's still going to be over in the eastern middle Tennessee, not west Tennessee. Uh, we should be just cloudy over here. All right, uh, let me see at the next time. Uh, 3 a.m. Uh, Monday. Uh, should be well gone from west Tennessee. A little bit of light rain, possibly light snow over in eastern sections of uh, eastern Tennessee. And by 6 a.m., just uh, Monday. Uh, by then, our sky should be clear here in uh, Jackson. Matter of fact, it should be clear around 3 a.m. by Monday. And as you can see, the other pre uh, precipitation around the area there. You see heavy snow up there in uh, New England states, up in that area by then. And let me scoot it on down a little bit and kind of go a little bit faster. Let you see who... Uh, uh, they got uh, uh, the t that's for midnight uh, Tuesday. Uh, see, this is noon Tuesday. Still nothing really going on much. A lot of rain out in California by noon Tuesday. And by midnight uh, Wednesday morning. Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Uh, nothing going on around here. Snow up in Great Lakes. And that area, uh, we see. At 6 a.m., about the same thing. A lot of precipitation out west. And uh, by noon, uh, Wednesday, not a whole lot going on here. Sky should be basically fair during that time frame here. And let me see. If we go on to... 6 p.m., still nothing going on here. Um, at midnight, uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, still nothing going on. Some more precipitation might be possible toward 6 a.m. Uh, Thursday morning here in West Tennessee, but it'll be light by then. A little bit more snow is possible to the north of us by then. And let me see. By noon, uh, still a little bit chance of rain, but thirsty, maybe. Portions of western middle Tennessee, uh, mostly rain this time, end up in Missouri, but snow in northern Missouri. Well, you see it pretty much there. And by 6 o'clock, Thursday night, be raining pretty good uh, in, in Kentucky and Illinois. Then you see it where it's at. And by midnight, uh, Chance of snow north of us in Kentucky. Mostly light rain here in Tennessee by next Friday morning. And uh, 6 a.m., about the same thing. This is by noon next Friday. You see where the rain and precipitation is expected. The lighter the color, the lighter the precipitation, of course. The little darker, the heavier. The at least the percentages is. And let's see, is that the last frame? 6 o'clock uh, next Friday evening. 
Uh, there you see woods precipitations most likely. And uh, uh, that, uh, and then midnight in the next Saturday morning, maybe Friday night, Saturday morning, there you see where most of the precipitation is. Let's see if I can get a slightly better view of that up here and up here. I think that's all the way till next week. And I think that's, uh, that's the last time from 6 a.m. next Saturday morning. And maybe a tiny bit, a tiny chance of a little rain here in West Tennessee and Middle Tennessee by then. Next Saturday, much the night. Alright, uh, that's the last time, alright. Let me kind of go back over this real slowly. Uh, like I missed that one. Oh, that's the severe weather for a wind. Sunday, 6 o'clock, south of us. I missed that level wind over there. How'd I do that? Mm hmm. Uh, let me go through, the, yeah, it's severe weather uh, tomorrow, around 90, well, down to Mississippi, and uh, the, uh, ooh, it breaks on that little bit down there. All right, uh, it, pretty severe down out there. Was, well, we get a little bit of rain uh, clean here. It's going to be severe weather down there by 3 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. I must not, I must not have been looking at it a good while ago. I'm just going through it kind of slow for you. An idea of what what it looks like across the whole country. All right, uh, this be taking too much time up to do all this. I don't know, but uh, that, that's all eleven days, according to the National Weather Service. Right, now let me move on to the I'll go through my usual weather forecast. I kind of gave it to you in some ways, but I'll give you a quick weather forecast for you. Again, the one I just showed you was the National Weather Service's opinion. Uh, my opinion is mostly cloudy the rest of tonight. Uh, let's see. Sunday, mostly cloudy with a 90% chance of showers by near 2 a.m. ending near 2 p.m. And uh, then just mostly cloudy west of Sunday. Low at 38 and high 40. If, it, if those temperatures hold, it will probably be a cold rain here in Jackson. Probably. If it's a little cooler than that, that might be another story. That's what that's the idea is based on. We'll have north winds irregardless at about 15 to 30 miles per hour. Now, it's going to be a little windy tomorrow, and we'll probably have a pretty chilly uh, wind chill factor also. The, uh, the moon will be setting... Uh, well, it's already set today at 2.22 p.m. All right, uh, sun be rising tomorrow morning, Sunday morning, at 6.22 a.m. Be setting at 5.52 p.m. The moon will be rising at 4.52 a.m. tomorrow morning and be setting at 3.17 p.m. Uh, like I said, fair skies by Monday around 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Then fair Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All three, and actually... Uh, most of Thursday is going to be Thursday night before it becomes mostly cloudy again, with a small chance for showers by Thursday night, especially on into Friday, which I think that's what that belt uh, covered a while ago, didn't it? Uh, for Friday, uh, let's see, what was it? Uh, yeah, light rain over there about then. Yep, sure did. All right, uh, the Pacific's... Uh, for next Friday, it's 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, low of 42 and high of 60. Next Friday, March the 8th. All right, let me get back to the Pacific here for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Low of 19, it's going to be cold Monday morning. High of 34, north winds at 10 to 20. Tuesday, March 5th, low of 19 again, excuse me, 18. A high of 36 with northwest winds at 10 to 20. Wednesday, uh, low of 18, high of 40. Mostly clear, northwest winds are 10 to 20. And Thursday, uh, fair skies, like I said, the Thursday night, then becoming mostly cloudy with a small 40% chance of a few showers. Low of 26 and a high of 45 with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And by Friday, very big cloudiness with a 50% chance of some showers and thunderstorms. Low of 32, high of 60. Uh, next weekend at this time, uh, mostly cloudy for next Saturday, 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms till Saturday night, then just showers, low of 50, high of 65, at least it's warming up a little bit. Then next Sunday, uh, 
Daylight savings time begins next Sunday at 2 a.m. Uh, fair skies, low of 52, high of 55, with west winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. All right, I'm going to let it close at that because I know it's been a little lengthy to uh, give you that forecast uh, page. I might try to do that on a fairly regular basis or find a way to highlight it more than anything. Otherwise, I'll uh, try to keep you as formed as much as possible and as short as possible. All right, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching and viewing as always. Again, the radar is clear for uh, West Tennessee at the moment. The closest range is up in the uh, Missouri Boot Hill area, east of Poplar Bluff, headed toward Cairo, Illinois, to be honest with you, and not too far away from Paducah, Kentucky, but that's moving east, so it's mainly north of us. Our measurable rain will probably kick in probably before sunrise tomorrow morning. Might be a better way of putting it. All right, uh, well, uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching and viewing and subscribing, and I hope to talk to you again tomorrow night. Good night, and God bless.